In this video, I'm going to take you through four major reasons that make the Camino such an amazing and at times life-changing experience and why you need to go and do it now. So let's look into it. The Camino family is one of the main reasons that make the Camino such a deep and meaningful experience. But what is a Camino family and what makes it so special? Well, we all know families, right? They can be a little different, maybe even a little odd. But thankfully, a Camino family will be very different to that lot. <laughs> now, the phrase Camino family is used to describe the people that you walk with and form bonds with as you all progress towards Santiago. You become so close, they feel like family. And these friendships are forged through the good times and sometimes the tough times that will come. But it does create long-lasting, really deep, strong bonds. The people you meet on the Camino are so open and friendly. Friendships, well, they almost feel fast-tracked you very quickly form very strong, deep bonds with members of your Camino family. And the Camino family gives you such a real sense of community and support, which makes walking to Santiago such a life-affirming and enriching experience. The creation of a Camino family or the forming of a Camino family is something that happens naturally. So it's not something you need to worry about or something you need to plan ahead for. But the Camino family really is what, for me and for lots of other pilgrims, make walking a Camino so, so special. And why you need to go and do it. Walking the Camino can feel like meditation at times, as you hear the crunch of the gravel underfoot, the tick-tack, tick-tack of your walking poles, as you walk through such amazing, calm, natural beauty. It really can help reduce stress and get you back to your true self. You really do need to experience a Camino because it's, it's a break from the stress of everyday life. We owe it to ourselves to have time away from our busy, hectic, rush hour type lives, 24 hour news, heads stuck in our phones, doom scrolling on social media. Walking on the Camino gives you time to think. And with this headspace, it allows you time, uh, space to tackle or think about problems or issues you may have in a very stressless environment. And it's stressless because your life really does get simpler. You know, the biggest decisions you have are, you know, are my feet gonna be okay? You know, where am I gonna stop for a coffee or for lunch? Where shall I lay my head? And this removing of all of the day-to-day -day stresses can be really, really freeing and makes walking the Camino such an enriching, kind of stress-busting exercise, which is why you need to go and do it. you are not going into the wild, untamed wilderness. Now, the Camino de Santiago has been welcoming pilgrims for what, over a thousand years. There is so much there for us, the pilgrim. There are lots of accommodation options to suit you know, every budget, lots of restaurants and bars in these tiny towns that do pilgrim menus, and there are lots of kind of additional services like baggage carrying. And that is one of the beauties of the Camino de Santiago. You get to go to see kind of amazing natural beauty through lots of old towns and villages you would never normally go to, but there is a great infrastructure there for you which can be relied upon. On your way to Santiago, you will pass through lots of large towns and cities, and literally they will have everything a pilgrim needs. If you need to go to a large shop to get some new gear, some new shoes, a new hat, whatever you need, 
I can guarantee you, you will find it on the Camino. It's not a third world country. And as you progress to Santiago, like I say, you'll have multiple chances to go to different shops and pick up and stock up in your bag, which also leads me to the point, you do not need to arrive with your bag stuffed to the gunnels with enough for a month's walk. You can buy as you go and keep your pack lighter. And that is another reason why you need to walk the Camino because you get to experience a journey like no other, but be safe in the knowledge that there is a support network there for you and for your trip. Walking the Camino de Santiago is a cheap way to have an amazing holiday. Yes, prices may have crept up a bit post lockdown, but they are still cheap, especially when you compare it to other walking holidays. So let's take a look at an average day's cost. So this would be day two from St. Jean Pierre de Port to Roncesvalles. So the night before I stayed in a jeet, uh, this is the jeet I stayed in, and this came with breakfast including, which straight away saves me money on my second day. My first expense was lunch in Orison, where you can stay if you want a shorter first day walking. But let's say I had a drink and a roll for around eight to 10 euros. I then stayed in the beautiful Roncesvalles Monastery, Albergue, which I highly recommend. It's a great place for meeting people. So one bed in a dorm plus a three course meal with wine is 25 euros. I would recommend booking the evening meal because it's a great way to meet people, some of which could become your Camino family. So your average day's total, you're looking for around about, what, 40 to 50 euros? So you really are looking at quite a cheap holiday, and which is another reason why you need to do it. Now, you can bring the prices down even further, depending on your budget. Accommodation wise, you could stay in a municipal albergue or even a Donativo. Food wise, to save money, you can go to the supermarkets. And in some of the albergues, they also have communal kitchens. So you can all pitch in and have a great family meal all together. Camino family I'm talking about. So it's a great way to have an amazing holiday on the cheap. And there you have four major reasons why the Camino de Santiago is such an amazing, life-affirming trip and why you need to go and do it. Now, in the coming weeks, I'm gonna be releasing more videos to help you with your planning and your trip, such as where to start your Camino, how to get to St. Jean Pierre de Port and other useful videos. So if you don't want to miss them, please like and subscribe and you'll never miss another video. Thank you.